Hello, I'm IBX Twigger, and this is a tutorial covering the basics of redstone, also covering repeaters and covering redstone clocks. Because uh, I did a few videos on redstone recently, uh, most uh, notably my pre trap video, and a lot of people don't understand the uh, quite a few you know concepts of redstone. So I figured I'd uh, do a little series trying to break it down bit by bit, explaining it to you from the very beginning. Uh, that's what we're covering today, the basics. Uh, so if you enjoy it and you want to see more, then let me know via a comment or a like or something along those lines. Uh, so let's start with the very basics then. So. Basically, if you want to think about redstone, it's sort of like wiring and uh, redstone current, the charge that goes through redstone is sort of like electricity. And uh, yeah, it takes time to go through the wire, that's how electricity works. And uh, also, if you go for too long, uh, you will eventually stop actually having even electricity going through wires if you try to have the wire be too long. Uh, that's the very, very, very basics. Uh, but let's uh, explain what it's used for in Minecraft. So uh, it can be used for six different things in Minecraft, or at least a power to six different things. Uh, first of all, the note block, when you put redstone current through it, it will play a note. Uh, the dispenser, when you put a redstone current through it, it will launch something out of the dispenser. Uh, sticky pistons and pistons will move up and down and, you know, move any blocks that with it accordingly. And uh, there are also redstone rails, which will be turned on and, you know, will let minecarts onto them and, you know, go whizzing through them. Uh, if you put a redstone current through them, uh, usually that's done for a redstone torch though, but that's a whole other bag of worms. But anyway, yeah, and then finally, uh, we've got the door and uh, the last one doesn't really count because it's... Uh, sort for one time use it breaks everything around it uh, but number six is the TNT block which uh, once you use it will blow up obviously and it's sort of just a one time use thing but it can only be activated by redstone and fire so it's it's worth noting anyway so let's move on to repeaters and how they work so basically a repeater it's a uh, way to put a redstone it's, uh, it's, it's three or four purposes uh, first of all it will delay the redstone signal so uh, when it uh, the time it takes for a piece of a redstone current to travel through a regular redstone block is 0.01 seconds. So uh, it takes, for this entire little line here, it will take just uh, 0.015 seconds, or not 0.015, sorry, 0.15 seconds, because uh, it's roughly 15 blocks of redstone. Uh, whereas a repeater takes anywhere from 0.1 when it's set to this, to 0.2, to 0.3, to 0.4. Uh, and if you add, if you put loads together, that can add up and you can put a really big delay on your thing. So let's uh, quickly show you the difference between 0.15 seconds and 6 seconds. Uh, so even though I'm activating them at the same time, it's the same rough distance, because I'm using repeaters, as you can see, it's going to take a lot longer for it to go through all of the repeaters to get to the door and open it finally. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the other purposes they serve is they'll repeat the signal and they'll put it back to full strength and uh, allow it to go for 15 more blocks. So as you can see here, uh, the redstone current stops traveling through the blocks after 15 blocks. Uh, what the redstone repeat will do is it resets the signal and allows it to travel for another 15 blocks. And uh, you can keep on doing that for indefinitely and have literally like 1,000 block long um, redstone currents which is pretty cool uh, and the third and final purpose is that it can block a redstone signal from coming into it so it's a one-way redstone signal basically so uh, as you can see right here this is uh, it is like limited purpose like that but basically like as you can see right here uh, if this was to come back on itself and then go like this maybe uh, for instance, uh, then what would be able to happen is it can't go back this way and then back to over here. So let's say, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason it's looping back round, it can't go past here. It just it just can't. Uh, even though in theory the redstone wire is going round here, it's coming back here and it's trying to get that way. It just can't do it because uh, the redstone repeater is one way. Uh, which can have problems, but it's actually quite useful in some ways because... Uh, it means that you can do stuff like uh, redstone clocks, which is uh, next on the agenda. Uh, so basically redstone clocks, I'm going to hook it up to this thing over here. Uh, a redstone clock is a basically a rapid on and off function. And uh, you can also use a different version of the clock, which I call a lock, uh, which is a way to make something permanently on. So let's show you the lock first, because that's the simplest to understand. Uh, basically you use a redstone loop, uh, because basically what happens when a redstone splits two ways, is it, go it does go both ways, but it doesn't get any weaker when it's going both ways, uh, especially when you have repeats in the loop. So basically what happens is... Uh, uh, I'll, I'll just show you by turning it on and then I'll explain it. So basically the redstone current goes through, uh, it turns this on and then it goes back round and then back round to here and then it keeps on looping. Uh, so even when I turn off the lever or if it was a button for instance it would make the button a permanently on button, uh, this will stay on. So uh, you might think that has limited use in Minecraft but it actually it, it has quite a few little clever uses especially if you use it with buttons and stuff. Uh, but yeah so that's a redstone lock as I call it and uh, I, let's show you next the redstone clock which I'll have to use. Uh, uh, I'll probably put a button down because it will be a lot easier to explain with. So. Uh uh, if I if you use a button, for instance, right here, uh, what will happen is it will send a charge through here. Also, I need to turn the repeaters on a larger signal because otherwise it won't work. Uh, so basically, the, what will happen is uh, it will go round, it will get, it will get to there, and then it will go back round. And because it's not long enough signal to go all the way round and keep on looping around itself, it will turn off and on rapidly, as I'll show you here. So, 
as you can see what's happening there, it's looping around, uh, because it because it wasn't actually set on a long enough time, it actually looped all the way around in time, uh, so I'm going to have to quickly just uh, put another piece down, but basically yeah, this is what's meant to happen, is uh, let's quickly break it, uh, as you can see it slowly goes around and then the power stops going around, that's uh, that, so probably put one more repeats down and then I'll show you with the button again. So uh, this is a redstone clock right here. It's uh, as you can see it's going round and then it's turning off, it's turning on, it's turning off, it's turning on. And uh, yeah that's a redstone clock and they can be used to turn things rapidly on and off which is uh, it can be used for quite a few designs and for quite a few clever things. Uh, mainly stuff like dispensers you can use it for instance right here uh, to make it so arrows will fire every like two or three seconds for instance like right here. Uh, every couple of seconds arrows will fire from these and uh, you can obviously use that for clever traps and stuff but it's it's something I haven't explored that much but it does have a lot of potential and um, the final use is uh, basically how to stop a redstone lock because uh, as you know uh, well as I said uh, when you turn something on uh, this is an example of using this button to uh, permanently open a door because uh, usually when you put on, when you use a button on a door what will happen is the door will just open for a little bit and then close again uh, this is a way if you use the redstone lock to make it so the you know, the door will stay open because it's powering around on itself over and over and over again. Uh, basically, if you're wondering how you turn this off, it's a little complicated. You have to use pistons because otherwise you have to... You can either break the circuit yourself or you can use pistons. Uh, look, here's me breaking the circuit and doing it. But it's preferred to use pistons because then it's repeatable and then you can, you know, let people do it on adventure maps or whatever. Well, I can just break the redstone circuit itself. So basically, it's it's easy to use pistons uh, just for the sake of making it, you know, fancier. So uh, this is how the piston will work. Is the piston comes down, it stops the redstone from flowing through there and then it breaks the circuit and uh, shuts the door. So let's show you an action with this pressure plate uh, right here. As you can see, push the piston down, breaks the redstone circuit and uh, then push it back up and the redstone circuit's ready to be pushed again. Uh, and you can do this indefinitely for as many times as you like. And I think it's it's got quite a few utilities in uh, Minecraft, maybe in your own Minecraft world. Let me just quickly show you the redstone trail that goes under here. It's just a simple trail from the pressure plate over to the piston. It's it's, it's nothing special. So yeah, that's uh, redstone clocks, redstone locks, uh, redstone itself and redstone repeaters. Uh, if you want to see more of this, uh, next episode I will cover the, uh, the logic gates for instance, right here, you can see you can turn on and off the uh, the uh, what do you call it, the redstone clock at will, if you want to, uh, which has quite a few utilities in itself. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, like it or share it or something if you enjoyed it and want to see more, uh, or just let me know with a comment. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, check the creeper trap video and goodbye.